Candice Meyer, and I'm filling in for this week's weather forecast. As you can see, let's start with the low pressure. So that is going to bring cold and wet conditions to part of the, of the East Coast. So um, like Raleigh, Atlanta, and parts of Florida. Now it is, the, the reason the low pressure is coming over here is the, the cold front that's behind it, that's pushing all this air, air and, and cold temperatures with it. With that, you can see precipitation, thunderstorms, and other events. Now, um, the occluded front, which is above Maine, so that's in the maritime pol uh, polar regions, mm -hmm. it's going to bring its warm and cold fronts, but unlike the stationary front, it's on the same line. So it's going it, to, it's, it's crazy. It's okay. All right, so then we're going to start with the warm front which is pushing over, it's uh, connected to the cold front, but the warm front's gonna branch off of that. So it's gonna be over the uh, Midwest regions of like Indiana and uh, the parts of the Great Lakes. So that will bring warm conditions and no precipitation for that. So, and that's in, and then over here is the continental regions. You have tropical and polar. Polar brings down the air from Canada Tropical brings down the air from Central America and Mexico. Okay, and for over there is the uh, maritime regions. So we have we have uh, Seattle over here. And we also have this high pressure system, which has mill bars from up to 1,016 to 1,030. So well, that will bring high high temperatures and um, dry. So there's no precipitation for that. Uh, that will continue to move this way soon. And um, humidity levels are pretty, pretty normal. Uh, Seattle's 61% uh, humidity, humidity, which that is because of the water right here. So that maritime regions um, get a lot of humidity. And for Memphis, pretty normal, pretty normal. And, <laughs> and uh, parts of Florida, Tampa, Tampa, <laughs> pretty normal. So uh, that is this week's weather. All right.